In this video, we're going to show how to remove the Speedo display screen from a TIG1 Mark II, that's years 2017 onwards. Tools you'll need for the job, some trim removal tools, a T20 Torx and a small flat screwdriver. First step is to remove the upper steering column shroud. So lower the steering wheel down and all the way out to give you a bit of access. And then this top half, using your trim tool, does just split. So pull it up at the back, create a gap, and just pry that apart. And do the same on the other side. And just make sure that's free and ready to come because it comes away with the trim around the dash. Now to remove this trim, it is all one piece. These are two separate pieces to the radio, to the heat vents, but it, it comes out together as one piece. Best thing to do is start here where you can get your hands in and get a bit of grip and just pull the bottom of the trim away, just so you can create some little gaps to get your trim tool in. So we've pulled that out and it's created a little gap around the side and you've just got to slowly work around with your trim tool prying it out. It's just clicked in all the way around and it is quite tight. You feel it just start to lift out the dash. You find it best to start at that end and then work your way along because it's quite hard to get the trim tool in around it. So if you start round in, just give yourself a little bit of leverage. There you go. So it's all pretty much loose. There's one more on this side. Once that's loose, the whole thing should pull towards you. There are still some wires on the back of the hazard switch. There you go. And you'll have to undo those. So there's two plugs on the back of the hazard switch. One is for the passenger airbag light, the top one. You've got to push each side in. You might need a screwdriver because it's quite hard to get your hands in both sides. This one and the other has just got a tab on one side and the blue plug. Push that in. And that one's free, and you can pull the trim away from the dash. Now you've got access to the bottom of the screen, there's two T20 screws to undo. Now holding the screen in, there's four push fit clips on the back, They're sort of like these but bigger versions, and there's one in each corner. So just do one corner at a time, try and get your fingers around, around the screen, and pull it out. There's three of them, and then the other one in the bottom corner, there you go. And pull it forward, and then you've got access to the plug on the back. 
So using a small screwdriver, push the little tab in there and fold the purple arm over and as you fold it over, the plug will come out. There's also another one there that just uses a large tab on the end, push that in, pull it up and that's the clock removed.